All right, I am going to add my shoes to the collection here. And let's see, let's find by these ultras right here. There we go. Bye bye, ultras. I do love you. So, if you are in Manchester City, I definitely recommend Green Mountain House Hostel. And this is where you would stay. Mushroom and Pink Hot Dog from Playground Earth TV recommended it last year, and it is my fave so far, just gotta say. It is clean, they have everything you need, and then some. It's cute, and they're incredibly friendly and personable. Oh, you can see the sun back there, going through the mist. Good morning from day 59 on the Appalachian Trail Adventure from Wildberry or with Wildberry. I am getting ready to head back to trail uh, breakfast time and then we head out at 730. So stick around today for the adventure and we'll see what we get into. Michaela, if you're watching, this little part of the video is specifically for you. Look at that sun coming down. We've made it back to trail at Vermont Route 3011, or 11 slash 30. And we are heading next up here to Bromley Mountain. It's a ski resort. We've been, made it to Bromley Brook, which is a quarter of a mile into our trek today. And that is a big old marble rock. Our shuttle driver and hostel driver, I should say, said that just a for short distance under the dirt is all marble. And that's why the water cannot be absorbed and there's so much mud. Okay, goodbye. This is probably one of the slopes. This is okay. Oh yeah, there's the... Uh... That climb up was no joke. And we are basically at the summit of Bromley Mountain. And that is a ski hut where people can stay overnight. I love these wildflowers. No, this was actually nice. Welcome to Bromley Summit, is what that sign says. We'll go for a little tour inside of there in a little bit. So that peak yeah. back there is Stratton Peak, and we were over there two days ago? Maybe three, I can't remember. <laughs> oh. So evidently there's some construction going on outside. They're going to be building a new watchtower. So there's not much room in here to stay. But, I guess hikers are still able to use it. Hmm. 
Interesting. Oh, that's just so lovely. We've decided we could stay up here forever. Or at least for the rest of the day. We were just at the Tom's Notch, Tom's Notch Trailhead, low on water, uncertain as to where the next water source was from mixed reviews. And we heard a car coming and Pedro and I both said, he's going to, or wouldn't it be something if he had water, it was a trail angel. <laughs> and then we're both like, nope, he's going too fast. Well, he ended up slowing down, stopping, and he had water. His name, trail name is Chili. He, sorry, I'm climbing. He um, hiked the long trail five years ago and he likes to help hikers. So thanks, Chili. If he ever watches this, which I doubt, but especially since I didn't tell him I was recording. Okay, gotta go. More butterflies. Lots and lots of butterflies. <laughs> we are set up at the Peru Peak campground. You may or may not hear some rumbles of thunder in the background. I'm hoping that it just passes by. It was supposed to have dumped already, but we're hopeful that it's just bypassing us. I'm actually gonna, well, I'll show you the shelter. It's an older shelter from the looks of it. There are carpenter ants that are eating, sorry, there are carpenter ants that are eating the ceiling beams, so that's never good. Um, up along there, you can't probably tell, but there are ants in different spots along there. So, that is that. This shelter has a little platform to sleep on. You could probably sleep another person under that if you had to crowd in here. Tonight there are two gentlemen, Lou and Alan, that are here. They're from Canada. We met them. Pacer is set up in her hammock over that away. There's a picnic table and a campfire pit. So, sorry, it's pan it out here. The AT goes right through the camp. And Griffith Lake is half a mile, and I think we're going to take a little dip there in the morning, possibly. And Lost Pond Shelter is 4.7. That was our second alternative for today. But we decided with both of us having new shoes, Pacer also has a new backpack. We thought it would be wise to do a shorter day, which is 10.7. And then tomorrow we'll be doing a 15 point something mile day. I baptize you with water, but one more powerful than I will come, the thongs of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Luke 3, 16.
for those of you who might like to dig a little bit deeper and get to know me a little bit more, I've designed a membership called Campfire Calls. It's a donation-based membership. You simply click in the link in the comments section or in the description of this video, and you will get to join me around 8 to 10 campfires along the Appalachian Trail as I journey from Harpers Ferry to Katahdin in Maine, and then back from Harpers Ferry to Georgia. And you'll just get to be able to connect with me on a Zoom call and chat, ask questions, and find out more about how the hike is going. So if you'd like to join me, be sure to click the link in the description or in the comment section of this video. Thank you, God bless, and see you next time.